It's days of our lives in a Georgia courtroom as Fulton County DA Fonnie Willis and her hand-chosen prosecutor and former lover Nathan Wade face questions about their credibility. It's interesting, it's salacious, but is it legally relevant and sufficient enough to get them kicked off the case? Katie Kurchaski is a former federal prosecutor and current defense attorney, and she joins us now. Thank you so much for being here. I like a good soap opera as much, I guess, as the next person does, but has defense counsel made the case for the disqualification of the prosecutors in your judgment? Well, this is definitely a, a great soap opera, although it's very sad because there are defendants on the other side of this that have their lives hanging in the balance, essentially. So I think we can take a look at what the Supreme Court said in 1935 about prosecutors. And what they say is that a prosecutor may strike hard blows, but they are not at liberty to strike foul ones. And I think here, Fonnie Willis, along with Nathan Wade, is really on the verge of not only being disqualified from this case, but having this case dismissed with prejudice because of these new text message and digital communication revelations. How do you, how do you view the standard? I mean, I, 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 a million years ago, was a prosecutor. We, we ran from the potential for conflict. We didn't want the appearance of conflict. But if the standard is actual conflict for disqualification, but what does that look like? And, and, and how do you view the standard in Georgia? When you have a, a senior prosecutor, a, a DA, who is actually bringing on an outside contract attorney with no experience or very little experience and paying them more than what other contract attorneys are being paid and then seeming to get these benefits of some you know, personal vacations out of it, then you have to wonder whether there's an actual conflict, whether she's actually benefiting from the relationship uh, because of his involvement in the case and whether there's any sort of impact on the case itself. Now, in terms of the disqualification, I think that it was kind of a close call before we knew that the timeline of the relationship may very well have existed long before the uh, indictments and the grand jury portion of this case were even occurring. So now that it seems to be evident that there's strong evidence that this relationship began way before they both claimed it did, and that's putting aside the perjury, there is a question about the uh, genesis of the case altogether and the propriety of the case altogether. And the question for the judge is not only do I need new prosecutors on this case, do I actually have to get rid of this case altogether because the taint is essentially irreversible. So I think it's a, it's a matter of degree, but here it's looking a lot more tainted. Yeah, you're right. I mean, the, the, the new evidence impeaches their credibility, and trustworthiness is always relevant, and credibility is always relevant. Uh, le, let me ask you this. The whole saga might well result in a delay for the former president and the other defendants, but if I'm a defendant, I think I want to be prosecuted by somebody who does real estate closings or drafts wills. I don't want someone with lots of prosecutorial experience, do I? So is it possible to win the battle and lose the war by getting these two kicked off the case? I think that's an interesting point. Um, I think that altogether, though, the defendants are going to go for the gold here, which is the full dismissal, because how can you ever trust the propriety of this prosecution from the very beginning when you know that, at least it seems, Fonnie Willis was conflicted or at least appears to have been conflicted in personally involving herself in benefiting from this prosecution of all these people. So I see your point in terms of having a so-called less experienced prosecutor on there, but if you can avoid a prosecution altogether, then I don't think anybody's going to want to roll that dice, regardless of how inexperienced they think a prosecutor might be. I look forward to talking to you next time. Thank you for joining us on a Sunday night. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.